The reason why I'm in coaching is because of the mentoring and the process. And for me, by the time they get to their senior year, you've hoped, you've watched that growth from each and every one of your seniors. I think for me with this senior class, you know, to think back in 2016 when they were coming in here as freshmen to where they are now, I know they're ready to tackle the real world. We set the tone with our defense and our rebounding. Here we go. In my senior season, I'm most proud of um, just kind of who I've become as a person overall. When I first came to Maryland, I was anxious, nervous, pretty shy, didn't really speak much. Um, and yeah, I was just kind of ready to just get acclimated to everything. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm playing with Shatori Walker Kimbrough and Bree Jones. And I remember I would always like pull at my shorts like whenever I was like nervous or anything. Just kind of getting ready to go and getting to see what college was going to be like was something that I was really looking forward to when I first, first came to Maryland. I think for Blair, uh, the biggest thing that stands out for me is just her journey. It hasn't been anything easy. You know, when you just talk about how many injuries that she had to go through between coming in with her shoulder to her ACL um, and just her fight, I think it's something that she'll be able to take with her into the real world that she can accomplish anything. Good job, Blair! Good job, Blair! Blair is within our immediate family the first person to graduate college. Um, so not only did she achieve that, you know, academically, but she did it with her athletics. And that to me is a God-given talent. And I'm so proud of her for doing that. I'm so proud of her for, uh, you know, finishing school. I'm so proud of her for being a warrior through this whole basketball experience because I know at one point it was very difficult for her when she hurt herself and sometimes it takes a minute to get your body back and then your mental aspect has to come back too. So I'm just extremely proud of her. Cam and Debbie here with Blair Watson. Boy, what a game. Thank you. <laughs> what Marilyn did for her was, was make her grow as a person. Sometimes the like, last game hasn't been falling, but... I... And showed her that not only is she a good athlete, but she can speak well in front of people and she can be a leader to her team and to show them anybody can achieve this if they put their hard work into it. It's nice to meet you, Tyler. Do you want to tie your shoes just in case so you don't trip? Here, I got you. These last four years have shaped me as a person overall. It's taught me adversity, taught me how to overcome challenges that I never thought I would ever have to go through. But just having my teammates throughout these four years and my coaches that push us to, to be the greatest people that we can be and uh, also the people that have like left and come through Maryland that have also like impacted my life a lot. I gotta give a shout out to Laney, especially like freshman year and building my body and all that stuff. And uh, Bill Hennigan, who isn't with us anymore, but he was a big inspiration in my life. and like really impacted me in like such big ways and just like everybody here I just want to say that I love them and um, I'm appreciative of everything that Maryland has, has offered me and got me to this point and I think I wouldn't want to spend my four years anywhere else. This is definitely a place I could call home now. When I first came to Maryland, I was coming under our two senior leaders, Shatori Walker Kimbrough and Brianna Jones, and I just wanted to learn from them. I wanted to learn about the game from their perspective because they've been there for four years, and I just wanted to learn to grow and be a player like them. These past four years, I've just been trying to soak up information like a sponge and improve every single day, and I've seen myself growing as a player. I've definitely seen myself growing as a leader. Since she came to Maryland, you know, she has blossomed really into a, a true leader and that, I think, was thrusted upon her in her second year and she took it on with great grace and dignity. And really proud to represent Maryland, her hometown and her team. I've been in a great position to lead my team in be one of the successful players to come out of here and I just want to keep it up and win championships. That's one of our main goals and that's one of my main goals to end my senior season with a bang.
I think the biggest thing for me with Kyla is just watching her growth from this freshman year when she came in ultra competitive uh, and, and green and raw to all of a sudden her senior year, what she has matured into. I think, you know, it's easy to say when people want the responsibility, but Kyla embraced it from the moment she stepped foot on campus. Go! Kyla wanted to always be the best and has grown in every single area. Let's go, let's go. I've been shaped as a woman off the court. I've been shaped as a player on the court. And I've definitely found who I am as a person these last four years through this program, just through college in general. Congratulations on the milestone for Passing oh, me. Thank you. <laughs> and scoring. I'm going to appreciate all the four years that I've had here, all the memories that I made with my teammates because they've definitely shaped my experience here. Hello, everyone. Hello. One way I kind of shown the Maryland family like culture that we have is I invite my teammates to my house all the time. As a leader, she brought them home. Any chance she got, any opportunity, we had to invite them to the house and she loved serving them Taylor. and having them over to spend time at her house. Boy, that's my meal. I know. I was like, we got to have some salmon for Sarah. <laughs> in my four years in the States, I'm most proud of the person I've become, uh, like the way I've grown um, and the things I learned about myself. Slovenia, pa če najbolj pogrešam prijatelje, družino, pa še posebej družino, zato ker pač je časovna razlika in ne morem se tako pogovarjati z starši ali pa z pač prijatelji z Slovenije. Ko sem prvič prišla v Maryland, sem bila zelo sramežljiva, ker nisem poznala nobenega. Ja sem pač po naravi bolj sramežljiva, ampak ko spoznam ljudi, sem pač sem zelo vesela, se pogovarjam z vsemi, pač zelo sem pač, ja. In potem, ko sem pač spoznala, pač predtem sem bila ful prestrašena in vse, ampak potem, ko sem pa spoznala svoje soigralke, trenerje, pa sem pač postala čist druga oseba. Sarah Bujačeč. For Sarah, we only got two years. But man, did she make uh, every moment worth it. Uh, you know, just the ability to put the, that smile on her face every single time. You know, just uh, what it means for her to be playing for the University of Maryland is something that I will always remember. Maryland, Pač tega še nisem jaz doživela, pač da bi ti vsi kar tako pomagali, pač nekemu, ko pride sem prvič. Vsi so bili pripravljeni pomagati, ne samo treneri ali pa svoji igralke tudi, pač starši od vseh svoji igralk ali pa pač partneri od pomočnikov trenerja. Pač vsi so bili pripravljeni pomagati, ne glede na to, pa ne glede na to, ali so me poznali ali pa ne. Pač to je bilo ful, mi tako ful šeč. Kako je jo privlekovala? Vesela sva, da jo vidiva tukaj. Da jo vidiva srečna, da je največ za starše. In da je tudi se ujela v Maryland ekipo. Torej, ja, moji starši so prišli prvič v Ameriko odkar sem jaz v Amerih tukaj. Prvi so mi prišli videti igrat. Meni je ful fajn, ful sem jo pogrešala. Fajn je videti tak jih tukaj, pač spoznavati novo okolje, novo hrano, pač v bistvu vse. Mislim, da je to pač ful tudi pogumno iz njihovih strani, da so prišli. It was a tough four years just changing the environment, but I realized that I'm stronger than I know. I didn't know if I would um, stay in college for four years. I was thinking of going home because it was hard, but I stayed, so I think that shows like courage thing that's important.
Me? I've experienced the Maryland family through just coming in the gym every day and people giving you hugs, smiles, like high fives, tap ups, whatever you need. I think it went in. That's it, that's it though. That's it though. Blair, I mean, she's kind of quiet, but she will bring out a smile and like when she does say stuff, it's, it's always funny and like she's just joking around and she always has cool stuff to say. I believe in you. I don't care. I believe in you. Blair. She's a funny one. Um, I like talking to her. Blair has been my roommate since day one. We've been roommates for four years. And so I'll always cherish all the memories that we've had at home, on the court, off the court. And like, yeah, we've had so much fun in our room. And right now it's just us two in our room. We just built so many memories, cooking together, getting dessert, watching shows. And so I'm gonna always cherish all the memories that I've had with Blair on and off the court. And she'll always be my sister. Good shot, Bake. There you go. Kyla, of course, my, my homie since freshman year. We've been roommates. Our thing, our good thing is barbecue chicken with like a little bit of mac and cheese and a side of vegetables, but we never really know what it's going to be. But yeah, if you need if you need dinner, come to me in Kyla's room because, you know, we got you. Kyla and I share a locker together. So like every time like we would laugh at each other for like no reason. We're just like always laughing. Sarah. Don't let her fool you guys. She is not quiet. She's not shy. Um, she is hilarious. I think she's one of the funniest people on the team because she's just quiet and she just says little comments in her breath. And you're just like, sir, what'd you say? She's probably one of the funniest people I've ever met. And also just her presence. We people who face. make you laugh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Even if you're probably having a bad day, she'll look at you and be like, what's up, how you doing? You okay? You good? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good, man. How you doing? Like every time I walk in in the morning, it's just us, usually in the locker room. And I'm like, hey, Sarah. She's like, hey, man. She's like, you ready for today? I'm like, uh, I guess so. Let's, let's get it. Like, here we go. And just getting to start my days with her is the best memory I have with Sarah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sarah, for these last two years, it's been really cool to be around her just because of her different perspective of being from a different country. Yeah. Starting her college career in a different school, too. I'm going to miss all the memories with Sarah. She always had me laughing. She's such a funny person. And the fact that she came here from a different country and was able to adapt and make new friends, learn a new language, it's just very inspirational. And I'm so proud of her. And I'm just glad that we were able to have her on our team. And then Steph, Steph Jones. I've watched her grow these last four years. When she first came in, she was very quiet. But when she gets comfortable, she loves to talk. She loves to have fun. You know, she's been a great teammate throughout these last four years. And I love the fact that she's been resilient, bouncing back from her injury freshman year, and just seeing how far she's grown. She's always been a consistent player. She's always been um, giving us timely buckets and always been a leader, to be honest. Like, you're kind of hesitant because she's like, just go up. She leads a lot by example, but this year she's been using her voice, and her voice has been very crucial for us and our success. And so I love the fact that I've seen her grown um, every single step since the first day we stepped on campus in the summer together. What in the world? Count it! From Steph, you know, Steph's the man. Just from freshman year, just having that genuine connection with her and just always being happy and positive and just building so many memories, especially outside of basketball, because I think we hang out a lot, so many food memories, so many memories with Sarah, of course, and um, Sarah Myers, and just having those those times with Steph is just always knowing that when you look at her, you can always see a smile on her face. No matter what's going on, she could be getting hacked in the game and she's going up with A and one for a smile, and I'm just like, Steph, always got a smile on her face, always know where to look for one. Ooh, acrobatic shot and one! Stephanie Jones entertaining us a little bit today. One thing I'm most proud of in my past four years is how me, Blair, and Kyla have stuck together since our freshman year, and we're really seeing what we started through. And yeah, we just want to finish on the right note, and we're still fighting for it. Stephanie has grown so much by being here at the University of Maryland. She's become a stronger person. She always had that fierceness about her, but I think she's grown as a person. I'm looking forward to her next steps in life because I know she's grown so much here being in Maryland. Stephanie Jones with a little teardrop. She had that reaction of like, excuse me. Like, <laughs> when I first came to Maryland, I was a really shy, quiet girl. I probably am a little bit like that, but I think I've really come out of my shell a little bit more. I was really 
hoping my college career to, I don't, I don't really know, like, I feel like anybody coming to college, like, you have these big hopes and dreams, but I think that one thing I've learned, like, with my injury coming in my freshman year, that really taught me a lot about being patient on the court and then off the court, too. For me, with Stephanie, I will always cherish just misconsistency. You know, every single day. Reverse! 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 You always knew what you were going to get. I mean, you never knew if there was an outside distraction going on in her life because she wasn't going to show it. Ridiculous. Had no answer for her 21 and 11. I think when you talk about for Stephanie, her future, I mean, having the ability to understand where your feet are, being present is going to be huge for her in the next chapter of life. She's had opportunities that she would have never gotten, probably in a lot of other places, to go overseas and play in Italy, uh, to play here with the great fans cheering and yelling for her has been wonderful. And also being here at a Division I school that has been in the top 10 was another one of her goals. Coach Reese has helped that happen for her by choosing her to be here at Maryland with this team. Play through everything, right? Play through everything yeah. again. I think it's pretty obvious that uh, tonight is all about celebrating our seniors, right? And, you know, seniors, I, I can think back to that uh, year 2016 when you came in here, right? And, you know, what I think is pretty cool is when you talk about um, just the progression, right? In the four years as you've come in here, um, pretty cool to be able to see, right? Uh, every step when you talk about <laughs> your journey, you know, your chemistry. I think the, the thing that separates for me is just understanding, you know, you yeah. came in here, you were servants, right? Super humble, knew how to work, and created an, an incredible sisterhood. You weren't about drama, you've never been about drama, which is what I love about you guys even more, right? So understand, you know, individually, Kyla, you know, uh, I, I think about, you know, uh, your senior year, you came in here and you wanted the responsibility from day one. Right from day one, you wanted to shoulder the load. A lot of people say they want to shoulder the load, but they can't shoulder the load because it is a responsibility that has to take place every single day. You wanted that. You came in first day wanting to size up Shatori, right? Wanted to, to match her up defensively and beat her in every single sprint. Give me a finish. That's why I don't worry about you. Every single day, you've embraced that mentality, and which is why you are the winner that you are. Steph? Right? Misconsistency. The only person I know that can take a blow to a head and still smile. <laughs> Love you, girl. And I've said this to you, what the coolest part to me, Steph, and why you're gonna be always so successful in life, if for four years I've known every day you've come through this door, what I'm gonna get from you. And what a blessing. When you talk about when you get into the workforce, when you know what you're getting every single day, you never knew if anything was going on in your life personally, because you never brought it in here. And that's why you're the winner that you are. Sarah, I wish we had four years, right? But you know what? I'm going to celebrate that we got two of the best years. And I've said this to you all the time, right? The fact that you could come over here from another country and do what you've done in your career of your four years is pretty special. Right? There is not anyone in this locker room, Sarah, that if we had to swap places could do what you've done. And I would count myself. To go over to another country and not speak the language and do what you've done I love you. I love you. is why I know I'm not even worried about what your next chapter looks like. You guys are here. And Blair. You talk about adversity. Man, you've been through it all. And when you look at your journey, I am so happy this year, physically, mentally, that you get to be the strongest you've ever been because you fought for four years to put yourself in the position that you've put this team in every single day. So when you get out into the real life, there's tough times. I'm not even worried about you because you've showed the inner strength that you have every single day to us as we've gotten to watch you these last four years. So again, it's not that we're sad that it's over. We're happy that it happened, right? And we're a long ways from being open. 
So when you walk out, embrace the moment, because tonight is for you. We stand in Charles and Charles of the Slovenian National <laughs> I didn't know there's gonna be Slovenian national anthem, and I was really shocked because I did not expect it at all. But I was really happy to hear it because uh, it felt like I was at home. This senior class is one that's always uh, gonna be with me for a lot of reasons, and you know I, I just have to first say because of their maturity level. I mean. When I think of this class and the journey that they've been through, they had little to no drama. You know, they've spent four years as sisters with a great sense of their purpose, their sisterhood, embracing people that are different and understanding that it wasn't gonna be easy. And I just think through, you know, each and every season, you could have a lot of things unfold. There's been a lot of changes. There's been people that have left. There's been a lot of different things that unfold. And I think this senior group has stayed the course and has been true to themselves. And now it's our job to continue to help mentor them so they're ready for that next chapter in their life.